Hello. They're uh, with the bird feeder. And uh, just uh, finished shoveling a little bit over here, and the sun's going down. And uh, Saki and I just took a walk. And uh, I think I'm going to take another walk and do it a little bit more meditatively. See if you'd like to join. Here's the, uh, I'm at the end of the little trail. You can see some of the shovelings here. Oh, why that is. <coughs> so it says my connection is weak, but I don't think there's much I can do about that. Anyway, you may notice that the paths are curved, uh, as I find that far more pleasing to uh, look at. So uh, this little path I'm on doesn't connect. Actually, you'll be able to see here that the uh, frozen rain has just begun. So you can see that uh, spotting on the uh, snow there. And uh, you can see some of the melt that we have on the south side of the house on the solar panels there. Uh, that one panel closest to the studio is fully covered. And the other, some of the snow has slipped off. And uh, so I'm gonna just grab the shovel and go in to the house and then back out. And uh, I bet Zaki will join me. You wanna go inside, buddy? Yeah, if you wanna go inside and then come right back out through the other path, you can go on a walk with us. But I have a pretty good idea you're not gonna wanna do that. You ready to go inside? All right, there he goes. So we're coming this way. This is uh, going to be one of those videos where I'm guessing a GoPro would have done a better job. But it is what it is. So, <coughs> here we go. Put the shovel down here. And uh, I think we'll, we'll walk out the back. Thank you, Saki. getting dark in the house but I generally don't have a light on if I'm not using that light and uh, so there's a little sake path there and there's uh, there's the path to the barn and so I'll see if I can aim this where we're going I don't really know how that will work and I'm just begin the meditative walk which as you might imagine is slow I'm kind of looking at all the shovelings off on the side all the leaves that came up with the shoveling and there's some cat tracks there and so I'm really just trying to open to what the path offers whether it's the physical movement or certainly the experiences that I have along the path, um, walking, seeing, smelling, you know. And uh, quite often for me, the experiences walking are internal, so they aren't exactly, uh, we're following Saki's path here. And there's Saki and I taking a walk together uh, not so long ago. And uh, this is a little path that allows me to get to the heart, which is here. So that's why there's that little bit of path off to the side here. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. Okay. I'm just recording, so I'm not stopping to talk. Sorry. Right. <laughs> so then we're coming up to my tractor. And uh, that was Kitty. I didn't introduce her because that wouldn't have been fair to not give her permission. And there's a uh, Kitty's tracks and wheelbarrow wheel tracks. Looks like she took one trip. There's the swing. So we're kind of heading back out towards the compost barn here. <clears throat> Desperate attempts to drive a plow without flipping it. Uh, the tractor with the plow on it without flipping it. Uh, so, as 
There's like a couple doves there, I think. There's that bay one of the compost barn, about half full. Tomorrow I'll shovel to bay four and do this little shoveling here. If we can get in there. I know you, you all are looking north and now northwest and that's west. And now uh, here's the end of the plowing. And oh, actually, I don't have the sandals on. I uh, changed out of them. I had the sandals on earlier for a walk, uh, but they were getting wet, so I put closed ones on. But either way, uh, I think the snow out there is uh, deeper than my coverings. We're going to walk back this way. <coughs> <coughs> So I think I was saying, you know, for me, they're not necessarily external experiences and they're not necessarily sort of physical experiences of walking, though there may be ingredients that support the internal experience. But just the practice of walking may very well just, oh, there's a new insight or consideration or thought. I'm walking now around. There's a little path I plowed to a couple of the horse gates for Molly and Jay. This is heading up to Lori's pasture and Astro's grave. There's the barn. south. Now we're walking east. And one of the important things for me in doing a meditative walk is that uh, I don't try and head somewhere. I don't have a goal in mind and being on the walk in the walk. There's the uh, front of the barn. being in the walk. Right now I'm kind of being aware of how much slippier, slipperier it is under my heels and under the ball of the foot. I'm thinking that might be that I put more weight on the heels. I'm just kind of tuning into that physical experience. Here's some plowings out to Spirit's Pasture and Dolly's. Plowed a little bit here for parking for students this week. But it's a bit of a slope here, and I'm a bit of a dope, so I sense that I'll get the plow stuck if I plow any more here. Get the tractor with the plow stuck. There's the uh, wild grape pergola, which I'm only guessing I'm framing for you. There it is. There's the studio, the temple bells. That's where we began the meditation by the uh, bananas and uh, <clears throat> uh, I guess uh, so we'll walk up the driveway it's plowed there there's a little bit more parking next to the bamboo beside the studio you can see the effect here of the frozen rain now Pretty cool look, I think. And probably view to hear the birds and the bamboo here. Hey, everybody! How's everybody doing today? Pretty good. Here's where I got the tractor stuck the other day. And so. Just being in the walking. Still feeling my heels. <clears throat> I 
Let's see if I can give you a little bit of a view. Oh, somebody's swimming in there. Look at that. Can't tell who though. I think I'm gonna just hold, put this camera here for you to enjoy the view. <coughs> There's the uh, pond. That's <laughs> cool. Now we're heading back east up the driveway. I'm growing fairly cold at the moment. I am. Since I'm holding this, and I don't think it's really a steady cam situation, this may be one of the bouncier videos. For which I now apologize. A little bit more pond over here with the heart stone. Uh, but uh, I will point out that uh, I post these videos to YouTube each time, at least so far, and YouTube offers a stabilization option, so I generally take advantage of that. So I'm guessing those videos, which you know I consider archived there, uh, are a little bit less bouncy. And so now I'm getting a little bit of cold. Uh, you know, my fingers are numb. I'm not sure if the wind is picking up, but it feels like it's broken through my jacket anyway. And so I'm starting to feel the arrival. Uh, just by comparison, this is what a plowed road can look like, and this is what it looks like when I've done it. <laughs> so, anyway. <coughs> Welcome to Sunday Farm. Here's here where we shoveled and plowed out the, the uh, mailbox. And, uh, so I'm, you know, a little bit cold. Uh, feel my back tightening a little bit. Uh, probably because of how I'm using it to keep myself from slipping. Uh, you might even notice I'm trying to turn my feet outwards when I walk. I don't know what the light looks like for you all. but So I get a little bit more traction rather than having them point straight ahead. But that takes its toll on my lower back, which is a choice I'm making. But anyway, my back's a little tight. I'm a little cold. My fingers are a little numb. My nose is running and I probably, and snow's falling on me and just got hit about the fourth time. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I feel like uh, the cold air has gotten inside my jacket here. So anyway, my mind is starting to have, you know, some uh, judgment-based uh, <laughs> uh, uh non-constructive thoughts I guess uh, like let's call this short and let's head in and enough of that and that's okay this is where the kung fu can kick in and I can say to myself well these are all just little discomforts this is not really a bus on its way to hit me there's more snow falling on me and so I can actually decide to press on through and that's okay. 
Okay, uh, walk out onto the beaver area. I'm standing atop the culvert here. We're kind of looking north here, northwest here, and west here. And we're looking down into the waters over towards the bridge. That's the northeast. We're just kind of exploring some of the paths. But, you know, the meditation is just open to what this process reveals, reminds me of, reinforces. I didn't kind of walk with a plan. I may get very excited and inspired. I may get very relaxed. I may get very tired. And that's okay. I'm walking without purpose. <clears throat> but I'm purposely walking. This is a, a little generator path where we did the meditation from. I don't know if you can see it shoveled out because I know the light's fading. But there's a little path where we did our meditation with the generator, I think, yesterday. There's a little parking area I carved down. A little bit of, might as well walk this little path between the vehicles. There's the studio. And we can walk another curved path. Which is what I do on the and purely shoveled paths. There's a little bit of curving here. Don't know how well you could see that, but I'll see if that helps you see. There's a little bit more of the curve up ahead. There's the unicorn looking out for whatever unicorns look out for. A little bit more curved path up to the library. This is where we did our meditation the other night in the dark, in the snow, sort of right in this area, which is under the birch. And the freezing rain you probably can hear now. I think it just pick, picked up. There's the rest of the curved path to the library, and then the path continues curving a bit over to the cellar door. And there's the Sage's Garden Seat Cottage. There's a compost barn that we were at a little while ago. And there's Looking North again. So that's about the whole path. So I'm going to just head back, I guess, to the front door. And just sort of do it very slowly, meditatively, with very little... discussion. A little bit more curved path up to the front door. And then there's the water dripping 
take from the icicles, which I think I may leave you with. So, thank you for joining.